Ellen McCauley of Freya Up in Syracuse, New York. When I'm at this scale weighing people in, so many people say to me, I'm feeling like a lot of water retention this week. Look at my ankles or look at my, my hands. You can, you know, people press and there's like a white dot. There's inflammation in their body. And I work for the Office for Aging. We have a nutrition unit and we have an intern, lovely, lovely intern from uh, Cornell. And she wrote a uh, flyer on superfoods to fight inflammation and to improve your memory. So I figured, you know, Freydoff could benefit by that. And she gets credit in her class for sharing it with a weight loss group. So it's a win-win. Again, she's lovely. So this flyer talks about what are superfoods. So for your memory, a superfood is blueberries, cranberries, strawberries, nuts, and fish. I think all those things sound kind of good. How about you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right, anti-inflammation superfoods, mushrooms, pomegranates. Now, I did anyone have pomegranate last week? No, me neither. Oh. Darlene, you really think outside that box. I'm proud of you. Yeah, well, I haven't had any. I'm going to get some. Pardon? Pomegranate juice for that, though? Juice. The juice. I, I don't know. Do they count? I don't even know what they are. So, well, I, you get, you get the, uh, it, I, I don't know. So, and then broccoli and cauliflower and soybeans. So, what I'm saying to you is all of these things can be added to salads. I love putting blueberries, cranberries, strawberries in a salad. Broccoli, cauliflower. Sometimes I like my, my veggies cold. Sometimes I like them hot. You know, so it mix it up. They taste completely different to me. Cauliflower rice takes di tastes different to me than raw cauliflower. But these are superfoods. Other examples, leafy greens, salmon, which I love. Herbs and spices, turmeric, cumin, ginger, cinnamon, or, or, or oregano, thyme, and sage. All of those things. And then it says right here, add a variety of colors to your plate, like sweet potatoes, kale, carrots, and tomato. Add the berries, nuts, and seeds to your oatmeal, which should be those, those high cut, what did I call them? Steel, Steel cut, cut oats. And also grapes, pears, apples, Mixing it up should be our mantra for the rest of 26 and all of 27. How can we mix our diet up so that we're not bored, so that we can look forward to a meal? There's a beautiful recipe here for black bean salad. And look how easy it is. Two cups of salad greens. Notice how it says wash. Don't you love how you got to write that down? Then salmon or tuna. Uh, and I don't like canned salmon salmon myself. So we make it and then just eat it from cooking it and letting it cold. Avocado, cherry tomatoes, all that stuff is easy to do and you mix it up. Remember I told you that I fell and I couldn't get up? Well these chair, these stair exercises are to start building strength. You get out, make sure there's someone at home in case you literally can't get up. Don't, they should, don't do these alone. You never see those shows on TV, don't try this at home. Well, don't try these alone. But take a stair and then you go up to it. I've been doing it on the wall. I've been doing wall push-ups. You can feel it, you really can. A stair crawl, again, make sure there's someone home, read how to do that. Step up where you stand up and you, you put your uh, one step at a time, tensing your muscles. These are all easy to do. You go to one step with one foot, the next step with another. All these build strength, which is what we're trying to do. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there, Bob.